based on whether the credit is revolving or not, the products can be classified as revolving credit versus installment loans. So what's a revolving credit facility? Uh, for example, for credit card, you are assigned a credit limit at the beginning. So if you shop within that limit, you can pay it back, then tap the credit limit again, right? For example, you have a $5,000 limit. This month you shop all the way to $5,000. You cannot shop anymore. Uh, but once you are able to pay it off to zero balance, uh, you can purchase another $5,000 using the same credit card. So this is the idea of a revolving credit facility. Uh, similarly, we have a personal life of credit. Uh, this is also a revolving credit facility. Overdraft, uh, same idea. On the other hand, we have an installment loan. So this means when the loan is extended, uh, you and the lender have agreed on a fixed installment, installment terms, right? For example, mortgage, uh, maybe that's uh, 25 years, uh, you'll pay installment uh, every month, right? Or every two weeks. So auto loan, it could be a fixed uh, five years loan, uh, you'll pay installment every month. Similarly, for personal loan, this could be a 12 months installment loan. Once you pay off the balance uh, each month by installment, so your balance reduced to zero, then the credit relationship is finished. So you cannot go back to use that credit again. So that's not allowed, right? So, so this is the, the installment loan versus the revolving credit facility.